Hello, welcome back to Magic Cat Security and Testing Tutorials. Today I'm going to talk to you about the Harvester. Now the Harvester is a uh, exactly that, it's a harvester of emails, domains, subdomains, stuff like that. Um, even names of employees, information. So let me show you that, uh, of course I already have it installed here, but um, if you need to get it, and I'll put all these links at the bottom of the video so that you have them. Um, here's the harvester, which you can grab on GitHub and you know do a quick clone. Okay, and the link here that goes to the website or the creator of the harvester is here. Um, you can, if you want, to, you can come here if you're interested and go to resources, and you can see some of the other things that they've worked on. So. Okay, so that's that. Now, we're gonna need somebody to use for this, so we're gonna use a BBNT banking website. Um, domain bbt.com, okay. Um, and this is not intrusive, this is just like a scraping type of application, so we're not intruding or doing anything illegal here. Um, so, if you were to open, and this uses Python 3, by the way, um, it, it requires it, as a matter of fact. If you hit Python 3 to open this, it gives you a little help menu, okay? And gives you some examples, some handy examples that shows you how to use it. So we're gonna put in BBT, which I have pre-typed here. And for the file, it does give you some results in the file for graphical uh, results that I piped right to the desktop, as you can see. Uh, so it's going right to my desktop. Um, you have several different options here for data sources, Bing, Badu, you know, just all kinds of them. Um, I just chose Google. Um, for the limit, I put a thousand. Um, who knows? We'll see what we come up with. I don't think I'm going to come up with anywhere near that because a, a banking site is going to be much more secure and they're not going to leave as many. Uh, email addresses and such as floating around to be grabbed by uh, crawlers and things like that. But let's see what we get. Okay, searching in Google. Here we go, 100 results. Now this does not mean that you're getting that many results. It means it's searching for that, okay? So don't expect to go, oh my god, I got 800 different emails. That's not going to happen. Or domains. And see, we're basically searching the domain here for uh, just like a cross board to see what we get. And it did this little thing here. And we have results right here. So I'm going to do open with Google. And we can go straight over. And here's our results. Now, I ran this. I can't believe that's zero. I ran this before, the, uh, <laughs> before I started this. So let's try a another one how about um why not walmart.com that's a good idea thank you browser so we'll close this one and we'll close that we don't need it anymore and we'll just bring that back up and i'll go over here and we'll do this as walmart okay and i'm just just uh, to make sure i'm going to change the name of the results file to wall results or Wow, however you want to say it. Let's see what we get here. Not too sure um, how good Walmart is about closing their emails and stuff like that. That's available to be scraped. It says no host found either. Apparently they're pretty good about it. Here we go. Let's see. And yeah, nothing found there. So they're pretty good about it. All right. But what if, now see, there's another option we have. If we wanted to do emails, as you can see here, um, like for instance, this. All right, with this command. Okay, so we're going to, let's do that. Let's go back here and we don't use a limit for this one. Okay. B PDP. And let's see what we get. It's kind of 
do a bit of searching now. And this should go after flat out um, email addresses. And we will soon see. Hopefully, it's a big, big domain. <laughs> This is where I may be cutting the tutorial and jumping ahead so you don't sit here too long. Oh my goodness. It might be getting quite a few results. There we go, look at that. Oh my goodness. That's quite a few emails. And see, we have all kinds of different names of the emails here. So uh, if uh, a hacker were planning an attack, um, this is a great start to create a list for a phishing attack or to impersonate a particular employee, um, all kinds of uses for this. So it's good to test. This is great for pen testers um, to provide for um, their clients. Um, there are ways to keep these from being available for web scraping. Where they could make this so that I couldn't grab any of these. But you see there's quite a few available. So, But anyway, handy little tool, the Harvester. Um, like I said, I highly recommend it. I hope you enjoyed your tutorial here today. Uh, remember to only use all your little tools for legal purposes be very careful set up your labs if you can I will be talking with you soon about how to set up your own little testing lab okay and that'll probably be a multi-part tutorial series like um, probably two or three different tutorials just to set it up and get it running the way you should all right thank you so much have a wonderful day and keep on coding